Lady and the Frogs here. I am today going to be working through a whole load of Lego which I have here. Um, so this is the box which I've bought. Um, yeah. <laughs> so this is an eBay auction. Actually, this this particular seller is one that I've bought from before, which was actually the charity that I was moaning about last time. But then I saw this and I just thought, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. And I really, and you know, I stuck to my guns and I just thought, I missed out last time. So I have bid, bid up on this one. I mean, obviously other people bid me up. So I've spent £60 on this. Well, probably about 62 with um, the postage. But there is a reason for it. And this is the reason. Whoops, I've dropped him. Right, so these are minifigures. These are the old minifigures. And so is that one. So these ones, they have like stickered chests on them. So I just saw a few of these and I just thought, hmm, that looks like it might be about them. It looks like it might be a decent set. I also saw various assembled bits like this. And I knew that this was the castle, which is just at the end of the 70s. So all of this is 1970s Lego. I say that, but I can I can see some early 80s stuff in there. So it's like mid 70s to early 80s era Lego that I've got in here. I will be able to make my money back on £60 I've spent. So all of this will be sold on my eBay account. It's Sunday today, so I'm thinking I'm going to plug on with it. I was going to do some clothing photography, but my husband's here. He probably want to pay on his Xbox while I'm working. And me flailing around with clothing in front of the TV won't go down well. So I did take the plunge and I went for it. Based on the fact as well that these minifigures generally, I mean, that one is an actual chest motif that's on there. So these minifigures themselves, there's a there's another older one there. I think this one's actually like, no, I think this is 1970. So they are the modern type of minifigure. And then they have this sort of ap apron, yeah, sort of like bib thing that goes on them. And then that is stickered with something. So I have to be careful with the washing process with this so this guy here was pushing this trolley um oh, i've got something on me I thought, I thought it was tinsel then this has clearly come out of the loft it's very silted um, you can see by looking at that you can see the muck and silt that's on it but i can't just do what i usually do which is put some disinfectant and a bit of bleach in a bowl and just put it all in, um, trying to pull out the electrical parts. There won't be any electrical parts in here, but I do not want to dunk these. And specifically the stickers which are on the assembled parts. And I'm probably gonna lay this all out on a sheet first before I do anything. So I've got a sheet here, which this is just actually, a laminated map which came with something there's a load of books that I had so I'm just going to lay it out on there separate the stickered pieces I'm probably going to use a bit of spray and a you know, slightly damp cloth maybe not damp cloth just to get off the muck and the rest of it that's on it and try and separate out what I've got because I've got to be really careful these here, they, I mean this, obviously you can see that this is like a doctor's car. Again, it's stickered. It's just all gonna come off if I just throw it all in the water. So a lot of it is just gonna have to have a cursory wipe down. Um, I believe that's the bus stop set. There's a lot of really good sets in here. This castle set sells for about a hundred pounds, um, I think. There was at one point though, it, without instructions and without box it was selling for around 50 but from what I've looked at it's even rarer at the moment and 
there's incomplete sets admittedly they do have instructions but they seem to have sold for around 100 and 120 so i'm fairly confident with this and also a lot of them are missing the stickers so that's another reason why i have to preserve the stickers because i know i'm very lucky to have got ones with stickers on so i'm going to start going through this i'll obviously put a bowl of water out so i can like wash stuff like that i mean that can go straight in um i'm not quite sure what this set is from because i've tried to have a look but i can't work out anything that's got this formation on it that's got this tap on it i've looked on bricklink and toys period won't let me search based on the tap and i thought it was the police station but i'm, a, I'm i don't know so i'm gonna start laying this out separate stuff which has got stickers and start cleaning and sorting and so ziggy so let the sort commence <laughs> hoping to get more done yesterday but there was a, a catastrophe within the apartment so I didn't get <laughs> I didn't sort any more than these bits so these are the ones which are stickered which I'm hoping I've pulled everything out I haven't dunked anything so got a this this is going to be a really good little job lot um you're going to have to ignore the washing machine because um, the incident that happened yesterday was a fire with a, a app with an appliance. So I am not running my appliances unless I'm in the room. So these are all of the, obviously the guys and the, the knights that will go with the castle. These are all the castle bits which are stickered. I'm wondering if they're supposed to be a fourth one of them because I've only got three don't know so we've got lots of firemen here with stickered chests um, and then ones um, so the shields are also stickered I've only got two which is annoying there's supposed to be five or maybe a lot more than that probably actually more like eight um, and then I've got these swords but obviously I've got all of that to go through there's loads of sets in here I'm really pleased with this I'm going to crack on I've screenshot everything that I think I've got um this that I've put aside I had this in a previous video um so the two shields that go with it so one of this plastic shield one of them sells for 20 pounds on its own 10 to 20 pounds on its own the set that I had last time, it used these two things. It's a space set. I put it together without the two shields because I had them missing. And I sold it very quickly for £20. It had 15 watches really quickly. So with that, I'm going to be able to definitely sell it for 40 to 50 Really thrilled about that because that's technically my money back. And then the rest of it is the rest of it's all just a bonus. So I'm going to crack on with putting some sets together. Um, first thing I'm going to do is obviously put all this into like for like pieces so that I can actually work out what's going on um I don't want to be slow building this time but really pleased with what I've got here this is the full sorted stage um that base plate that you see on the top there is actually for a, an older police set because I've just looked at the dot formation on it so I'm not sure that I've got all the pieces for that I was looking at some of the other listings that this charity's got and i think they put a whole load of stuff 
in with somebody else's <laughs> job lot because I've got the base plate that this other person who's bid on this other auction's got um, the instructions in the rest of the Lego for, so they must be thrilled. Um, yeah, so I'm going to crack on pulling all this together. I have one minifigure that is definitely missing for this and there are literally no swords and there are no axes either so this is the inventory for it this is 1978 i mean it will still be fine i haven't got the visors either which is it's really odd that i haven't even got one um yeah very weird so i'm going to put it together based on what i've got here because i don't want to mix it with the more modern stuff because uh, well you can see there these guys have got modern helmets and these are the older style helmets and that also applies to the weapons in the the more modern weapons are that shade of grey and not that one you know or the more that one but there is a, there is a very subtle difference yeah don't even go there so <laughs> I've got loads of stuff which I have screenshot obviously I've kept some of them intact because um yeah it was just easier that way but i'm still gonna have to take them apart just to check that there's not anything like weird going on it's like that one's ready to go but i don't want to just assume that it's all right <laughs> um yeah and the other thing i was missing base plates for the bus stop and a few pieces for the bus stop are missing but i've got a base plate and i've pulled that one out because i'm thinking i might do the um, hospital is called the emergency treatment center because I think I've got some more of these and if not I think I might just do it with them uh, yeah I might because the hospital's more desirable than epoxy ambulance so I'm gonna try and put that together anyway first thing I'm gonna do is pull the stuff for of this castle which i've never ever done before i've never had it so yeah <laughs> oh yeah that's the thing no shields i've got the flag obviously a lot of like things like these stickered pieces i've checked that and there is only three so i have got enough but you can see there they've all got different shields these guys and I haven't got them. But anyway, let's crack on and see what I can do. Handing straight over to Lady because there's a lot to talk about. Yay! 
right here we are so this is what i have left um i have got a fair few little things as i said um that i'm going to see if i can make the hospital the taxi rank um <laughs> i've actually put the base plate on there so if we try and switch it out um but i know that i haven't gotten some like things like the doors so i'm just going to see what i've got and then there's a few little space sets which i need to do and just check through them i think there's some fire engines because i've got them there but they're the sticker type so they're the old ones so i need to try and work out what else i've got but i've got loads here that's ready to photograph so i am going to do that first um so this is the best thing which you've just seen the time lapse of so this one will be around a hundred pounds i haven't got everything for it the things that i'm missing are the shields there's only two shields there should be more which match up to these other bibs here so oh geez come on so there should be shields that match these guys uh there should be another minifigure of him but i haven't got him but there's there's plenty here there's plenty of minifigures and all of the stickers which you expect to find on the castle are here that one's peeling off a bit but they are all here got the horses the swords so the the swords are the same as these but these are the well say more modern these are the 80s version and those are the 1970s version so there's a slight difference in coloring but i have popped them in there the same with the lances and the axes i have not got all of the correct ones i mean that one is a really modern one because you can see it's got the actual part number on it there which is something that didn't used to happen with the um more older stuff i know that these don't have part numbers on and that one's obviously been chewed <laughs> so it's got a little drawbridge which i've had it was a right arse doing this because it just sandwiches in oh great now i've bloody wrecked it <laughs> yeah it's it's not the best um i can see look mate you can't hang yourself i know that you're going into battle but you can't hang yourself you're the only one with a shield yeah so in later reiterations of the castle this will not stay down it's because the way it is it's all the pressure is going there but that's what it says to do let's just bring it back down again I don't think I'm going to be putting a video on my eBay listing anyway because it keeps messing me up and I keep hearing that people can't get back to the old listing format so I don't want to end up stuck. Uh, this also, it bends out but I don't really know what the what the purpose is of it, of it folding out really is. I suppose it could fold out like that but you know it's not much of a fortress. <laughs> and obviously the horses are very basic but anyway this is a rarity and it's 100 pounds you know and i've got some of the little things like flags which haven't appeared in other things i'm gonna have to put that back down oh what a pain in the ass anyway i need to get these things photographed despite the fact that it's raining today um this is one of the last things that i've just done which i was actually quite surprised um I have got lots of substitutions which are written down here. Um, notably, I've put red doors on because I was missing two of the clear doors, which is the problem that I've got with the taxi rank as well, because I was tempted to put two yellow ones on, but I haven't even got two yellow ones. Um, this is more or less complete. This is 1976. Hence the old minifigures. This will probably around be around the 40 to 50 mark. I don't know because obviously I've, I've had to have 
my own substitutions. It's really weird because I'd actually put that next to the television and hesitated listing it. And this, this was one of the bits that they had missing. Um, and it also had that missing, but I had that. And then I had all the other police um, bricks, which were all, all there. So I've been able to piece that together with my spares. But the base plate was there and everything else was there. So that was cool. Um, and then, oh, we've got a few space things here. These are just all basic things, which will be five to ten. This one will probably be around fifteen, actually, thinking about it, because there's slightly more to it and it's got two mini figures. Rocket launcher. I've had it before and I seem to remember it selling quite well then, but the market fluctuates, so you always have to check. But anyway, two space sets there. There's more space sets to come. This is the fire station. Um, oh, I've got myself all caught up in a cable here. Yeah, this fire station. This one's a bit of a bizarre one as well, in the way that this folds out. Let me move these guys. I've got this uh, little car as well, which is the fire chief car, which is all stickered which is quite unusual for the old 70s stuff. So I've decided to keep that. I've decided to pop that in here because I don't have all of the mini figures to go with. I've only got four of these mini figures. So these are the older style mini figures that were stickered before they started printing the motifs on. So those are like the late 70s ones. So this thing, I'm not quite sure why, but it folds out like that. Um, and obviously I've put the wrong base plate on because it's got curved corners. Um, and the only one that I've got is a very obvious cleaner piece, but it's clean, but it's broken. So I'm going to be popping that one on the listing for this. And it's also missing stickered parts. So obviously I'm supposed to have a stickered part there. This is one. Uh, but I only had the two and it's supposed to have a clock and it's supposed to say fire station there. So all of those bits were missing. But this is still going to be like a 40 to 50 pound set. Some people are asking crazy money for these, both this and the um, police station. Some people are asking 100. But, you know, it's all to do with having instructions and um, boxes, which I haven't got for any of this. This is all just Lego. Right, so this, I mean, look at all of this. This is the rest of the stuff which I've pulled from this. Um, and I've just got to the point now where I'm just like, I need to get this photographed and put on because there's too much of it. I know that there's a whole load more, which I've potentially got. Oh yes, you see, and I've also got Paul Daniel's magic box <laughs> instructions. Um, this is a toy made in West Germany. And then I've got all these random, um, cars that have come with this job lot there's always something which you don't expect so what should we do should we start at the back let's start at the back let's move the microphone then the microphone will fall over because it doesn't matter how much money you spend on equipment it'll always have a problem right so the first thing we have is auto station this would be it may well be up to it be about 25 to 30 i would think for this conservatively 20 so it's got a little car with it um yeah it's just called auto garage it's got quite a lot of details in it these are all from 1979 1980 um this is the paramedic station I should have done this as I went because I've got too much. But yeah, so a little paramedic hospital station. Got the stickers with it. That's a bonus. It's even got some stickers on the wall um, which reflects this eye chart. So this eye chart, which I've got here, this actually goes with the hospital, the larger hospital, which, um, and that sticker also goes with the hospital, but I don't think it goes on the wedge. Um, but I haven't got enough there to put it together and I haven't got the base plate. Let me just move. I've got all my I've got all my plastic bags there for when I actually do the listing of all of this. So hence why they're sat there in my way. 
Um, post office, self-explanatory, it's a post office. Um, yeah, the van goes with it. Uh, the, this post office van is separate on its own. I was short the post boxes with this, so I've had to get them out of my spares. Got loads and loads of little cars here. So a, ta um, a sort of roadway vehicle. Uh, these will be around... These these sets here will be around the 20 to 30 mark, depending on how rare they are. I haven't looked these up. These will be around the £10 mark. Some of them less, like this. I would imagine that this one's probably only going to be a £5 set because there's hardly any Lego to it. Although it's a rarity, it's, you know, there's not much to it. It's just a taxi. Like And this one's well. I've had a lot of this delivery van. And although it's got the sticker delivery, it's it doesn't go for that much. That doesn't go for any more than six ninety nine. I think is what I've had for it in the past. This one's slightly more desirable. This highway maintenance truck. Again, it's got the correct stickers on it. That will go for around ten. That won't go for much. I'll only go for a fiver because it's just a bit naff. Um, need to look that one up because that's quite a rare one. I've never really seen that, but again, it'll be around the £10 mark. This is, I'm going to sell this on its own because it's quite a nice little set on its own. It doesn't need to go with the fire station, but they have got the older figures there. But now I've moved him, he's going to go all over, he's going to land on top of somebody else's truck. Yeah, so just, um, you know, pneumatic arm truck. What else have we got here? Um, this is an old shell tr a set. They've got minifigures on it with them, but obviously there's nowhere for them to go because this is like an early iteration of it. That might be something that's quite desirable. Some of the shell stuff is really desirable because shell has been discontinued now as a Lego partner. So some people are interested in the history of it all. I've been contacted as well by somebody this week um, who's doing a book about Lego and they wanted to use my photos. <coughs> there you go. Um, obviously just a doctor's car, same again in that it's I've got a fledgling minifigure. What have we got here? Oh, I've got a, another little truck, probably around a five, five pound set that because it's very basic. We have got a police helicopter here that'll probably be around 10 to 15 i think this will be only around five pounds because it's just a bit rubbish the digger stuff i usually put on job lots because they're not very desirable and um, these are the bib ones with the stickers not much to talk about really with that I need to look this up because this is quite big. I've had to use some of my spares for this, but you know, I've been okay. I've got it all together. Um, maybe I haven't had to use any spares. No, no, I don't think I have. So that's a helicopter, an ambulance helicopter, which you won't want to pick up because it's just open at the side and so you fall out. So this is before they had the stretchers. So, although it's printed motif, it hasn't got the, the the modern stretcher with it for some reason. Not quite sure why. This one I need to look up because this is quite interesting. And I imagine that this is quite rare to have all the stickers. I've got the sticker on the front. Oh, it hasn't got a sticker on the front. Um, I'm thinking of the other part. So, it's got this car that goes with it. Um, I've got the correct thing. That had to come out of my spares. That goes on the roof for some reason. This is called Rally Repair Crew. Oh yeah, that's the sticker I was talking about on the front. So it's got the sticker on the front of the motorbike, which I imagine is something that goes missing a lot. Um, and the two mini figures that are with it. So it's got a police officer type thing. So I don't know why it's Rally Repair Crew when he's got a police badge on him. But it is correct, I've looked it up. So I'm hoping that that's going to sell for, you know, closer to like the 10, 15 mark, because I imagine that's quite hard to find. But you see, again, the collectors who want the 70s stuff, they want the boxes. And that's not something which I've got. Uh, 
so I've got this guy as well this is just a convertible um, that'll just sell for around five to ten and then I've got some cool space items here I've had this before and I didn't have the I had only had broken stanchions at the bottom so it's quite nice to have it all complete this sold quite quickly before I think I can get around 25 for that um, probably around 20 for this this has had a lot of fading issues this has been the case with a lot of the Lego that I've had recently is there's been a lot of fading because it's obviously been assembled and then just sort of left um, yeah so I think that one's 20 I can't think what it was called I've had I've had that one before because obviously I do have I do a lot of the space sets another space set that'll probably be around 10 to 15 although it does have the like the grabber at the back which is one of the things which is always missing it it always surprises me with with these lego with these space legos sets what people want and it's also hard to to gauge the price because the gauges are so high in america but quite low here this bit comes off on this one so that's just a little spaceship i haven't put the names down of any of these sets they're all called things like space scooter and <laughs> spaceship this or that and the other um cosmic craziness yeah so that one will probably be around the 10 mark i mean when i sell these you'll probably catch them on my videos this is a very notable one i've just recently had this and i think i have spoken about this before this was right at the bottom of the box when i was sorting through it i knew immediately what i had because the last time i had it i was missing these two parts on the top here these shield parts on the top if you get them in if you have this part missing <laughs> you, I looked up how much it was to, to get it and they're £10 each so just one of them opaque transparent pieces is £10 and it only goes on this set um, and this folds out and it's got a like little computer console in there and instruction if you've got instructions for this you're looking at getting 50 i'm going to put mine on for 40 the last time i sold it and i had parts missing for it i sold it for 20 so i'm fairly confident i can get 40 for that so very pleased to have found that and then the final two things which i've got are two sets i have got this house here never had this one before so these are, these are stickered parts, but there's got no adhesive in them. But it's always nice to have them, so that should help. It's I don't know if it's called like a holiday home or something. Um, again, this one, let's just move the tree, because the tree is what holds it in place. So this folds round to create a house. And then it's quite cool inside. Let me just move it around. Moving it around, moving it around. So yeah, quite a fair amount of details in there. So I found that based on the fact that I had the tap. I'm not sure if it is supposed to be a chrome one, but it couldn't have been anything else. And it's got a little TV in there, which that's one of the parts which is quite unusual to find. So it's, it's stickered. So quite pleased to have been able to put that together never have been able to put it together before uh yeah it's called townhouse and then i've got this bus station i've had this before there's a few issues with this so although i've got various stickered parts and they're very clean and they're you know well applied which is that and that and that i was missing the clock which is always one of these things that's like pings off so the clock isn't supposed to be that that's a modern part which i've put on to substitute it um the female minifigure is wrong as well uh, and i didn't have the base plate so i've had to pull it out on my base plate it's got a bit of damage on it but you know everything was there and this is a 20 to 25 set i'll probably be more likely to get 20 for it because of the issues um, I'm not sure how much that sells for. I'll, 
that's probably again 20. These houses, they're okay, but they're not like that desirable. It's the Weetabix house is the, is the good one. Um, very similar to this. I'll have to look it up. It may be that I can get 30. We'll see. It is Christmas coming up. <laughs> so yeah, I am really pleased. Um, I've got more little sets. You know, I've got this. I know that that only sells for, it, it's got, it has the, 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 the woman there with it. I mean, actually it's, it's probably ready to go because that's pretty much all it is. I just need to check over that. I think I've got that as well in a in a previous um, set. I've got various things here. I've got police things here, but this goes, and they haven't got the base plate and I haven't got the rest of it for that. And again, it takes those clear doors, which I haven't got. Um, it is just largely sundries, but there is a few things there, which I've obviously got. I wonder what the chef goes with can't think why I've got the chef these minifigures just came in a minifigure set so I could just sell them on their own don't know how much they'd go for um yeah I paid so I paid 60 pounds for all of this inclusive of the postage so I'm very happy with the returns because it's it is I mean there, there is a lot here I know that I've like let it build up so that it looks really exciting but I am really pleased with what I've got out of this and I've got a few more bits which I can pull out. Um, I'm looking at at least 200 profit. So yeah, I'm going to start getting these photographed and listed. Otherwise, it's not going to get me anywhere just sat on the floor and it's going to, I'm going to start losing bits and yeah, although I've cleaned it, it's like got dust on it. <laughs> So, so it's the trouble we're dealing with the old stuff but anyway yeah and i need to get all this on so thank you for watching and i hope you have enjoyed this and goodbye from me and goodbye from ziggy who is staring at the police station i hope he doesn't want to keep it <laughs>